This is one of the largest shopping malls in the world. And it's so big that we had to do three separate videos just to capture the entire experience. In this video, we're going to have a blast in one of the world's largest indoor water parks. Welcome to your home for the day. Here at Ikebana, Skyler. Peace towers. Skyler, you're right by the pool. Huh. Hey guys, welcome to our final day here in Edmonton, Alberta. We thought we'd cap off this travel series within Alberta with one of the best things that you could do here in the city. And that's visiting the World Water Park here in West Edmonton Mall. If this is the first video that you're joining us, for the past two videos, we've been capturing our experience here in the West Edmonton Mall. And we're for sure gonna leave some links down below so you guys could easily check that out. So the water park opens at 10 to 5, and we decided to come early just to maximize the day. And I think someone decided to take a nap first. It is her nap time. Yep, it is her nap time. Good thing Daddy decided to book this day lounger for this baby. So yeah, in addition to the admission tickets, we also decided to book this terrace day bed lounger just because it's kind of different now that we have a baby. Before, we just go and take one of the free benches. But since Skylar has a few naps throughout her day, we just decided to take this one so she can be a little bit more comfortable and also it's called Terrace Daybed Lounger because it's kind of a you're kind of in this fenced area where you have a nice view of the wave pool. I know the Daybed Lounger is a little bit extra but I think it's worth it because of the amount of things that you get. Aside from the privacy that you are getting, you're also getting some chairs and tables, some towels, a semi-private bathroom, and also a storage for your items. Okay, so that was pretty awesome. Since we have a day bed or a cabana rental, we didn't really have to go to the bar just to order some food. There is a kiosk where you can order, which is just like 10 steps away from our cabana or our land. Order me. Oh. Where's your food? They're gonna deliver it here. So while Skylar is taking her nap, we decided to grab some lunch for us. Because lately we've been eating lunch with Skylar, which is very a little bit chaotic because she wanted to grab the food too. Yeah, it's very rare that we have these moments where she's still sleeping. So we're taking advantage of the time to eat. Yep. Hopefully it arrived by that time and she's still sleeping. <laughs> we also decided to change Skylar into a more comfortable clothes because inside the water park they maintain it into around 30 Celsius which is really warm and I guess that's why Skylar is having a very long nap right now. You may like the tropical weather after all. <laughs> Thank you. Yep, can I use It's four cheese pizza. So someone is awake and decided to join us. Hi, Glenn. Hi, Skylar. Did you have a good nap? Where is Skylar today? Oh. It's like we never left Polynesia. <laughs> More pickies. <laughs> so I feel like that's kind of the theme of the World Water Park, Polynesia, right? Yeah. It makes they make you feel that you're in a tropical place. First, they give you the 30 degree temperature, and also they give you all of these things. 
So lots of greeneries, lots of tiki's, and makes you feel that you're in a tropical country right now. So I feel like Skylar is definitely enjoying all of the sights here, all of the colors. But unfortunately, Skylar, we're gonna have to wait a few little more months before you can go in. We've also reached the other end of the park where I think there's a lot more kid-friendly. So it's opposite of the wave pool. So I think this is the area where Skylar is gonna play around when we come back. Yeah, right, Skylar? We also noticed that there are cabanas located at this area and also a couple of hammocks right here. Five months, you're already enjoying your first wave pool. It's a lot warmer here, eh? having to go to a water park before and us having to go to a water park with Skylar now. Before, we would just go straight up to the slides, enjoy our day, and make the most out of our day just sliding down and in the water. But I guess this time around, Skylar is top priority. Right? Unless Skylar wants to go to the slide too. Right? Do you want to go to the slide, Skylar? Yes! It's me, Skylar! Yes! <laughs> Skylar! I think we have a water baby over here who loves to splash in the water. Huh? You love to splash in the water, huh? Yes? So Skylar started feeling a little bit cold since She's already around the 30 minute mark. 
So the, we just decided to rinse her off, dry her out, and then bring her back here at the day bed. Max is feeding her and trying to get her to sleep, but just like the Galaxy Land video, when the baby sleeps, is the time that we can play. Definitely enjoying the day lounge here. She keeps on rolling and taking a sneak peek of the people sliding down the slides. Now that Skylar is almost six months old, she can now sit down by herself with little to no assistance. You're such a big girl now, huh? Do you want to show them that you can sit down by yourself? That's another milestone that Skylar did in this trip. She can now say mama. Right, Skylar? Mama. Lana. Mama. Lana. Sorry, Nat. I think you need to book another trip so Skylar will learn how to say dada. <laughs> Alright you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this Alberta travel series, especially the first one with Skylar. We sure have made a lot of great memories during this trip. My favorite part of this trip, aside from the fun activities that we did, was Skylar's first mama. Lana. Yeah, yeah, that was very cute. I'm still I'm still hoping for the dada or the papa. <laughs> <laughs> It'll come soon. <laughs> one of these days. Skylar, you can do it. <laughs> I think my favorite part was getting to fly with Skylar for the first time. We did a lot of preparation uh, and I felt like a little bit over prepared on preparing for that flight. But I think Skylar is just a natural on traveling. Yep, I think she did really good. That being said, let us know in the comments which destination we should do our next travel series. For now, please like this video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Thank you.